morning everyone. It is Friday. I'm not sure the date, but it's Friday at any rate. Or Thursday. No, I lie. It's Thursday. I don't know what day it is. Good morning everyone. It is Thursday, early January um, 10th something, and I am on my way to Yuma, which is about an hour and a half, two hours maybe, south of Quartzsite. You go straight down 95 and you end up in Yuma. Um, it's been an interesting drive. It was dark when I started out this morning, but I've gotten to watch the sunrise come up. And as you drive, you know, straight south, you get to drive through the Yuma U.S. Military Proving Ground. <laughs> and uh, so that's an interesting experience. I'll take some photos of that when I come back north. Because um, I am just down here day tripping. I am just down here day tripping it. Um, I've got some in-town kind of errands that I want to run. And, hey, let's slow it way down. A couple of signs that say 25 miles an hour and I'm flying through here going 50. Um, so I thought maybe I should pay attention to the road. Yep, that's the legit railroad tracks. I'm assuming that's where the 310 to Yuma comes in from. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's um, the WRTR is wrapping up today. And I decided I didn't feel a need to be there to process my experience. Um, but all of the ladies that I'm camped with, um, we're all staying through the whole, you know, rubber trap rendezvous. And so I'll see all them tonight when I get back into camp. And a group of us are supposed to get together tonight for, there's a, a board game meetup that happens on Thursday nights. So we're all going to... Not we all, but those of us who are into board games are going to go to the board game meetup and check that out. Um, so yeah, we've got stuff going on. So while I'm in Yuma, I'm going to work out, get a shower, tidy up the car some, make sure to check my tires, check my oil, you know, all the usual car stuff. Um, and then I, I want to try and get some of these videos out to you folks so that you can see what's been going on because, wow, it's been a lot. Um, but it's great. I'm having a, a really good time. Um, somebody around the campfire last night asked me a lot of really good questions. I've been not motivating myself as well as I could to find employment, and a lot of it is that I hadn't really figured out kind of what I wanted to do, and it had not occurred to me to ask myself, so what do you want to do? Which is different than what are you willing to do? Um, there's a lot of work that I'm willing to do, but that doesn't mean I want to do any of it. Um, so yeah, I, it got me to really thinking, and I spent a fair parcel of this drive really trying to answer the question, okay, what do I want to do? You know, if I could have any kind of position at all, what would I want it to be? And the first answer that came to mind, and this might be the right answer, I'll need to double check. I want to drive the bus. <laughs> and by that I mean I want to be the shuttle driver who picks you up at your airport and drives you to your national park spot. Or I want to be the person who drives the bus in a circle in the town and picks you up and drops you off at all the different, you know, touristy locations. Um, because, yeah, I think really driving a bus through all of these really beautiful areas would be so much more fun than just sitting at the hospitality desk or uh, cleaning people's guest rooms or uh, anything else that involves walking or standing. Um, I think I could be a really good bus driver, a really good shuttle driver, and I think I would like that because that's part of what I like about being Yuko Jin entrance. I don't know what that means. <laughs> anyway, um, that's part of what I like about this lifestyle is that I get to sit behind the wheel of a car and see stuff that I haven't seen before. It's the part I actually enjoy. And I think I could do that. I think I could be the person who drives the bus. So now I got to find jobs that are related to driving the bus, training programs to getting the CDL, ABC, um, any of those. I don't know that I want to drive like tractor trailer yet. I might get to that point. Um, but being able to drive the tourist shuttle, bus, car, van, whatever they need, 
I think that would be a really good fit for me. So, part of what I want to do while I'm here in Yuma and doing my YouTube videos is I want to look and see if I can find those kind of positions available and, and move into that. So, I will keep you all posted and let you know if I find something like that. But I wanted to give a shout out to the people at the campfire last night, particularly Hannah, who asked good questions and really got me thinking about what do I want, which is different than what I'm willing to do. What you want and what you're willing are not always, are often not the same thing. Alrighty, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll show you some of Yuma while we're here. Alright, so we started our day off here in Yuma at the Planet Fitness and this whole shopping center turned out to be a really good area for us because right there is Mr. B's Bicycles and I managed to take my very warped bicycle um, to Mr. B's and they're gonna fix it up and put a new back rim on it for me and true it up and do the maintenance and they said they'll give me a call once they know if anything else needs to happen to it and I found one more shop here in the strip and let's drive on over there we'll show you guys what that shop was so we got the planet fitness we got the mr b's there's a local store here that i had not seen before a cons home plus furniture and appliances i didn't need any appliances being that i live in my car and all but it was there also saw this shop fretworks music center did not go into it but saw that it was there there's also a mist spa, and of course, you know I had to stop at it. There's a Dollar Tree. Um, I've been needing clamps, and every time I need my clamps, I'm like, why didn't I pick those up from Dollar Tree? And now I can't remember what I needed to clamp, but I bought the stupid clamps, and this time, the next time it comes up in my car, I can go, oh man, I need some clamps. I can be like, yo, I bought some clamps. So we should be good, but now there's another shop down here and I'll show you. It's not anywhere I'm willing to go, but I know a lot of crafters like it. Um, so I'll show you that it's here, even though I think they're horrible and you shouldn't shop there. Um, I'm opposed to their politics, um, but if you need craft supplies on the cheap, there's a Hobby Lobby. This is my moment of saying, please don't shop at Hobby Lobby. Their abuses against humans are terrible. Um, there's also a sportsman's warehouse. I have no idea what a sportsman's warehouse is, but they're here in case you have any sportsman's warehouse sort of needs. And as you can see, all kinds of people here in RVs living in their vehicles and the like. Um, but I need to get back to paying attention to where I'm driving. I'm heading off to the Yuma post office um, so that I can set up general delivery. I need to have a package sent to me from Ohio. And uh, so I'm going to get that sent here to Yuma instead of Quartzsite. Um, Quartzsite's ability to receive mail for people gets really jacked up during the next two weeks. And rather than fight that crowd, I'd rather just have it sent here to Yuma. I'll make a second trip to Yuma and I'll pick it up then. Alrighty, folks, I'm off to find the post office. I'll show you that when we get there. This was my first trip into a 99 cent store, but they had good prices on fresh produce and a snack that I had never seen before. And they had lots of different items. They had a pretty good uh, produce and grocery store, including some refrigerated and some frozen goods. Tons and tons of shelf-stable canned goods and home cleaning supplies. And also the usual stuff that you find at a discount store. They had the craft items and the clothing and the kids' toys and all of that. Um, but the prices seem to be better here than they are at a dollar and a half tree or a dollar and a quarter tree. Um, so just wanted to let you guys know that if there's a 99 cent store in your area, it might be worth checking out. Did not catch any photos of the Yuma post office. It looks like a post office. But I did finish out my day there at a Starbucks, getting some videos ready to upload for all you folks. And then I headed back to town. So we're driving along, <laughs> about to head into the Yuma U.S. Military Proving Ground. We want to catch a shot of that sign as we go through because it's it's interesting. I have to say, driving through a U.S. Military Proving Ground makes me wonder if this road is the demilitarized zone for their little war games. I mean, I realize you got to practice before you go into a foreign country and start some shit. But I really wish they weren't practicing around the road I'm driving on. 
that unsettles me a little bit. I've also had some interesting road snacks. And I'll tell you about them because I'm totally eating them right now. I found some dried mango that was uh, treated with um, chili. So it was like soaked in chili juice. So you get this sweet, uh, I'm sorry, so you get this sweet hot kind of thing. Those are really good. I'm liking those. I found sesame sticks, which are a weakness of mine. I will eat an entire bag of sesame sticks with no problem. Adore them. And I picked up a little bag of corn nuts. I don't know why I'm feeling a need for spicy food. I guess because I'm in the southwest. Um, but they're jalapeno cheddar corn nuts. And those are pretty good too. I'm liking them. They're a little hotter than I really want to eat too many of. But, but I like that they've got that hot cheese thing going on. That's really nice. A sign on the right. You are now entering United States Army Yuma Proving Ground. Please observe posted signs. I should probably pick a lane. Alright, test vehicle crossing. Not only knows what vehicles they're testing out here, but okay. So yeah, you can see some vehicles out here doing something with some power lines. These two guns coming up here on the side. Yeah, check those out on the left. Those are pretty sweet. These are at the entrance to the Imperial Dam, and on the right is the Yuma Proving Ground sign. So that intersection is cool. I saw that on the way through. And then, yeah, for the rest of it, it's just, uh, you know, driving through. I didn't see anything particularly of interest other than those two uh, guns at the entrance to the proving ground. So that was kind of neat, and I wanted to make sure to share that with you guys. 